so here are the swatching sheets these were swatched on the watercolor pad that I got included in the pack and I really do like the way these have come out so we'll just have a closer look at each one some of them blend really well like these ones here and the color you can't really see the line of where I stopped doing the color to spread it out and others you can see the divide between what I colored in and then dragged over with water but I do like how these have all come out on the watercolour paper. The colours are striking. I really love the colour palette. Jade there is just beautiful and, and the purple range is like the azalea purple, the deep reddish purple. I, I, I love that purple range. So there's the last card. So as again you can see like that one that's a beautiful color too it came it dragged over beautifully and dissolved nicely where I colored it in and say the olive you can see where the line is especially on the grays it didn't tend to dissolve well that could be just uh, my technique um, as I was getting towards the end of doing it I might have been getting a bit more lazy with the water but I tried to uh, use one drop of water from the aqua pen on each uh, blob of color there to spread it over but yeah, it, I am happy with the results of these uh, watercolour brush markers on the watercolour paper. So you also get the cards, the swatch cards, um, in this type of paper. I'm not quite sure. This just seems like cardstock to me. So I did a, a couple of colours on this just to see how it would work. Let's look at this one first. Um, so yeah again I just sort of did a splotch of colour in and again one drop of water and on this type of cardstock it to me it didn't work very well because as soon as the water touched it it just spread out as you can see like that and that was just one drop of water from the aqua pen so on this type of cardstock and um and, and here the ones that are circled I've just done like the little tiny sample but not put water on it so you can see how it goes on this swatch card as well and yeah I, I don't like them on this type of cardstock I don't like the way the samples came out I don't think they're as vivid or as beautiful as they came out on the watercolor paper and the last thing I tried them on was a book that was printed on Amazon paper so your standard sort of coloring book paper so I did sacrifice the last sheet in this book so this was just I was just trying to do different tests so I was not trying to color it in <laughs> per se so as you can see uh, I've done different ways of trying the colors so if we start through these flowers I did with and there is first thing to note slight peeling of the paper but for these flowers I got colors and just sort of did lines where the lines are so you can you can see that still even after they've been watered and then I went over it with the water paintbrush yeah so it spreads the color out and you do get the color remaining as you would want it towards the stems so I wasn't too displeased with some of these three flowers I like this one I might have put it on a bit too thick so you get a lot of color left over um, I also tried with the vines I tried to do um, a very loose color as I call it you can sort of see where the lines it's not fully colored in so I've left like white space where I've colored it in and then gone over it with the water brush and see if it fills it in and I was getting a bit frustrated so you can see I went completely out of the lines there <laughs> so because um, I was trying to be within the lines and it leaked out so there was that sort of effect uh, moving over to this blue bit here on the flowers I did again the water on the paper first but then I ended up doing two layers of the color to get that and you still get lines and streaks and stuff so it's not very smooth then we go to the froggies uh, this one I colored completely in like all in the lines as it should be and then went over it with water so it does come out really quite smooth the result was quite good this one I put 
the brush marker on a spare bit of watercolour paper here that I had so I just did like a colour splodge then put water all over it to colour like I was colouring it in and used whatever was on my paint brush tip to colour this frog in so it's like discarded water you could say almost and so you get a very pale look then I've got these two leaves uh, coloured in with the same colour this one I just coloured it in as normal did nothing to it so you can sort of see what these markers look like when you colour them in that's what it looks like did the same here but then went over it again with water to smooth it like I did with the frog here so putting the water on after you coloured in does make it a lot smoother and a prettier tone so yeah that's just to show you the difference there and lastly I thought I'd just try to see what happened if I tried to use an alcohol marker uh, blender like your, your plain blender on them to see if that activates them at all and nothing it doesn't seem to activate it at all so this seems the way to do it you can use these then on Amazon paper if you wanted to color it in fully like that and then go over it with water to get that sort of smoothness saying that you're getting the froggy or you know if you wanted to go over the froggy there and then do a lighter tone there I mean it, they do work okay and they do come out quite smooth but to me I don't see the point of doing that other people might um, but I wouldn't my conclusion for them is that I just simply won't use them for anything like cardstock or Amazon coloring books that's my opinion I'm not a professional artist so you know I could be using them wrong other people might find better ways to use them than the way I was doing it but I used it in every sort of example I could think of and that's the results that I got so just to show it again you've got using them on Amazon paper using all different types of watering methods on the cardstock I got to swatch them and on actual watercolour paper so yeah without a doubt using them on the watercolour paper gets you the best results and I really do love the colour palette I think these colours are stunning so yeah that's my um, overall opinion on them so they're good colours good for me as a beginner not good for colouring on Amazon colouring books professionals might be able to use these better than I can and might find a way to make them work on Amazon paper thank you very much for watching if this is your first time stumbling across my channel please consider subscribing if everyone could hit that like button and leave a comment down below I love to hear from you and I always answer I'd love to hear from you especially if you have the Ahuhu Aqua Natural Brush watercolor pens how do you use them I would love to hear from you if you would like to support the channel I have a Kofi and a Patreon and the details are here everybody no matter where you are please stay safe stay weird and I'll catch you in the next one bye